What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. And today I'm going to show you guys how to gear up your alts in 630 gear without even really having to play them. Now, the first thing you got to do, of course, is you got to hit level 100. Good job. You already did that. And next step, this is the real, this is kind of like the uh, the main part of this, is that you've got to get a character with a tanking or healing spec, and uh, you're going to queue up for heroics or LFR, and make sure you get these bags, these satchels of savage mystery. And uh, you can get them from queuing random wards during our heroics. You can get them through raid finder as well. And uh, those are the two main ways of getting them. And you want to make sure that you queue up as uh, either a tank or a healer. Sometimes their healers are, uh, can get the bag. Sometimes they can't. Tanks almost always get the bag. Make sure that it actually has the reward as the, uh, what do you call it, as the satchel whenever you click the inner dungeon because you don't want to waste your time and not get your bag. And so what this bag is going to do is you're going to open this bag. You mail this bag because it is BOA, right? And so you mail this bag over to an alt, and then you open up the bag on an alt, and then it has a 630 piece of gear that's spec appropriate for your alt and not the main that you get the bag on. Because like you see me, I'm on my Blood Death Knight getting bags for my balance druid. So obviously this works. And so what's really good about this is especially if you don't really do Nagrand in your leveling path, like you just go straight Spires of Arak, like usually what I've been doing recently. And so here are some bags. I'm going to open, I'm going to open up some bags for you guys and show you guys what it's like. And I took this, these bags took me like maybe two, three hours to get, right? And so uh, either way, this saves a ton of time. Look at that. I'm, I'm getting follower items. I'm getting, uh, sorry, I had a pop-up here. I'm getting follower items. I'm getting, uh, I got that bear. You see that bear, the Dunmorgo Cub? That's like a thousand gold on my server. Like a thousand gold just from clicking a bag. Look at all this other stuff. I'm getting follower upgrades. Augment runes too, by the way. Neckbeards, like myself, love those because they increase your DPS just by a little bit. And uh, anyway, so all these little items that you're seeing, and I'm getting get stuff with sockets too. Like I got a socketed weapon. I got a socketed weapon from clicking a bag. How how good is that? Okay. And so I'm gonna clip all this here. As you can see, my item level is going up. It's not a Tuesday, but it's pretty close. I think it's like Friday. I actually don't even know what day it is. It doesn't matter. Point is, you're gonna get a ton of gear, and it's gonna be real real quick. All right. And look, I'll show you guys. Look, look at that. See that? From a bag. From a bag. I got a 630 weapon. And obviously 630 is not like the best the best item there is, but this character literally, like in this video, hit level 100 like fucking five minutes since the beginning of this video. And that's, he's already almost heroic ready. Okay, he's not really quite heroic ready, but he's getting there. And after this, I'm also going to show you guys on my, uh, on my hunter too, because I did the same thing a couple weeks ago. Actually, it was probably just one week ago. I've been leveling up characters like crazy. And I've been leveling up this druid to do some, uh, some farming videos for you guys. Because druids are ridiculous for farming. Like druids are actually no, they're just ridiculous. Period. And so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at my hunter and see what my hunter got. Because you can get weapons. Uh, I don't know about trinkets. I really just don't know. But as far as I would assume that you can get trinkets as well. But the main thing you should really be expecting to get is just gear, the follower upgrades, and just some other little RP items, as well as an augment rune out of each little bag. And look at that. Look at that. Azura Wellpling. That's worth like five thousand gold. Fucking Raven Lord. You get the Raven Lord out of a bag too. You get Raven Lord, Blue Proto Drake, Rivendare's Death Charger, Green Proto Drake, I think, I don't know. And uh, probably a couple other ones I can't even think of right now. You get all these, all these mounts, all this different stuff just from doing this, just out of bags, okay? So if you got a tank alt or something like that, you definitely want to be doing this as you level up a new character. Just to save yourself a ton, some time and a real, real big headache if you're trying to do normal modes. Because if y'all didn't see the video on that, oh my god, it's the worst. So, of course, after you get your gear, this is another important part, is you, uh, especially if you're a balanced druid, because as I said before, balanced druids are really good. And uh, people say improving grounds are hard. I already did a video about that. But I'm just going to tell you guys right now, like, if you're balanced druid, it doesn't matter how hard you think proving grounds are. Watch, watch. Look at the time. Look at the time. This is my balanced druid. Just hit level 100. Boom. There it is. Proving grounds. Easy. Of course, you also get your complimentary top damage out of a battleground as soon as you hit level 100 on your druid. And a uh, balanced druid, by the way, now that feral bullshit. So, guys, this is really all it takes. You want to make sure that you get those bags and uh, the tanking and healing uh, specializations whenever you go into a random uh, drain or heroic. Guys, that's really, really simple. Definitely want to take advantage of this, and I don't really see them. This, this obviously was intended, so it's not like they're going to get rid of it. So just get on it and do it as many times as you can. That's really all I got. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.